I shouldn't be here. And what I mean by that is that I should not be able to afford this office. However, I was able to work with the broker and the owner of the building to come to an agreement that worked for all of us so they could fill a space that had previously been sitting empty for quite a while and so that I can use it to help grow my business. And if you haven't seen my videos before, I'm in the process of building out a new co-working space specifically for creators here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I think we as creators oftentimes spend a lot of time by ourselves. And so being able to build out a place where people can go and it's conducive to the creative process while also fostering a community of people that are all on similar journeys, even if they're not exactly the same, so that people can share things that have worked or things that haven't worked for them and really live by the phrase, rising tides lift all ships. So the plan is to bring in other creatives and creators similar to myself that have a common goal of wanting to be in a place like this. All right, enough blab. Let's go check out the space before the sun goes down. All right, starting out, this is my office here. This is where I spend a lot of my time uh, when I'm working on different things, when I'm shooting content, when I'm editing content, when I'm doing emails, whatever it may be. Certainly sipping plenty of coffee here. Some of my favorite stuff here. Had to bring the needler from the last office. Have a Lego set. I'm probably gonna put that together at some point. Coming back the other way, we've got the Dyson fan because right now it is really cold out as you can see here, and that makes it slightly better. Got a bunch of my gear, my backpack that I call my mobile office because I keep almost everything in there that I can, and then got some storage. The desk I was sitting at before, I'm thinking about actually moving my desk from over here to over here just so that I can get more of this uh, natural light during the day, especially in the winter months, starting to crave it because um, we don't have enough of it. And then it wouldn't be an office if it didn't have at least one big whiteboard. And we actually have two. And this is great for brainstorming, brain dumping. And I just recently used it for that to kind of lay out all of the different things that I'm working on here. And then using it to kind of decide where I want to be spending more of my time on. Over here, we've got some of my gear. This is a light that I use uh, when I'm shooting a lot of content. And this is actually a Black Friday purchase I recently got. And I love it because not only does it do the full gamut of like white to yellow light, but it actually does full RGB uh, light as well. So you can change all the different colors, um, which is great for backdrops, probably raves, whatever else. And then I got a teleprompter, tripods, my jersey collection here. And this is here because I shoot a lot of content in the sports world for some of the businesses that I'm working with. And since I have a big jersey collection, I figured it would make way more sense to have here where I can easily swap into different jerseys and shirts for different videos, as opposed to having it all at home. All right, venturing out into the main area now. Bring the dogs here every once in a while, so they, of course they need their space. We've got a series of cubicles here, excuse the mess, uh, but kind of an editing station. And then what was my shipping station here when I was doing a lot of shipping. We may end up using this for something else eventually, but for right now, that's what it is. And coming this way, welcome to the Fieldwork booth. Fieldwork is a clothing line that my friend Reese, who I used to work with, started, and now he is doing it full time. It is super cool, Midwest inspired streetwear. He's been here in the space with me for a couple of months now and he's here almost every single day with me so having him here has been really great in terms of kind of building out the mission of what i want the space to be and we've learned a lot from each other go check it out of course we had to bring nba jam from the last office and then one step away we've got the photo studio so the idea behind this space is that not only can it be used by the different people that are using this office on a daily basis, but we could actually rent it out to other photographers on more of an hourly basis to do some of their work. There's definitely a few things that I still wanna change about it, but just the big white wall that we recently painted, and then all of the natural light that just pours in through that window almost all day long, makes for a great photo studio, and it's been one of our most dynamic spaces. Although it is a little bit echoey. Continuing on, we've got the lobby area here. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of furniture right here, and that's because furniture is expensive. And while it's awesome to have this whole office, I definitely cannot fill it up with all of the furniture that I wish all at one time, so we're slowly working on it. Right now, I'm primarily focused on getting the photo studio up and operational and rentable, but after we kind of get that in line, we're gonna start filling this space and turning this into more of a lounge. Still have some decorations up from the New Year's Eve party that we had here with a couple friends of mine. And then over here is my personal new favorite, which is my fancy coffee machine. And this is another Black Friday, Cyber Monday pickup. Based on how much I was spending on coffee and wanting to have some of the more fancy drinks like the lattes and whatever, I did the math and it definitely makes more sense long-term, not only for me, but for the people that are a part of this space to be using a machine like this. With that being said, we're still gonna get Starbucks every once in a while. One of the biggest upgrades from our last space to this one is that there's actually a full kitchen here in this office. 
Um, and it wouldn't be MTV Cribs like of me to not show you what was in the fridge. Mostly beverages, being totally honest. We got some yerba mate, some Mexican Coke. I've been really drinking a ton of this poppy lately. That's kind of a soda replacement and it's been really solid. Poppy, if you'd like to sponsor our fridge, reach out. Recently just picked up this toaster oven so we can make some pizza, some pizza rolls, some other hot foods here at the office. And the thing I like about this is that it actually rotates all the way up. So it doesn't really take up that much counter space when you're not using it. And we even have a stove top, which I'm not exactly known for my cooking, but now I really don't have an excuse if I can practice it at any time of the day. And ultra feeds coming soon. This room is currently being used as a content studio, more like a podcast studio, but I do shoot other content here. So as you can see, um, I do produce a podcast for some friends of mine called the ANF Podcast. It's a Iowa football podcast. If you are a fan, go check it out. This is another space that I really hope to upgrade as time and budget allow to turn it into a very legitimate podcast recording studio. But for right now, it gets the job done. And here we've got what I've been calling the co-working space, which is more or less just desks, monitors, and chairs few other things. That really is all you need to be able to come in and be productive. But with that being said, if any of you watching this are interior design driven, I welcome all supportive, helpful opinions. And then last but not least, we've got the CompKey Studio. Ramsey is a good friend of mine, does content for a full-time job, and is also a music producer. So make sure you go check him out. And if you're in the market, go buy some beats. Because he just had a baby and like furniture, babies are expensive. So that's The Office. And whether this is the first video of mine that you've ever seen, this is the first time you've seen me in a while, or you've seen every video I've ever put out, actually building out the space into what I know it can be, building the community of people that are a part of it, and just having this as the place where I go most days to get stuff done. I'll be bringing my camera with me as much as I can to document the process of all of it. And we'll have another video coming soon that will talk about some of the things I've been up to and some future plans for this channel. Just know that the content on this channel moving forward will encompass everything that I'm doing as person, as a business, all of it. And in case you missed it, I did announce on Instagram that I will be posting something to the internet on one of my pages, not on all of my pages, but on one of my pages every single day for the entirety of 2024. And I have not missed a day yet. And that's partly because I also made the commitment that if I do miss a day, which is not gonna happen, but if I do, the first person to point it out to me in an Instagram DM, only the first person, I will Venmo you 10 bucks. So if you'd like to help keep me accountable and or watch out for my downfall so you can maybe make 10 bucks, go follow me on Instagram at I'm Nalter. But I'm not gonna miss any days. I hope. So here's to a new year, a new office, and new videos. I figured a good way to end this video would be to symbolically take down the New Year's Eve decorations that have been up for a little too long. But I also realized that that means I'll have to pop a bunch of balloons that have confetti in. And I don't know if you've heard, confetti sucks. It's fun when you actually get to use it for its confetti purposes, but for all the other things after, it's just really inconvenient. It goes everywhere. It's really tough to pick up. You're gonna find it somewhere in the crevices of wherever you are for weeks to come. But alas, the decorations do have to come down. So what I thought was maybe what I could do is turn this into a montage of super slow-mo footage of me popping these balloons with the confetti in them. And that would be pretty chill. But one thing that you can do to help make it worth it is to leave a comment on this video saying worth it or nice confetti or sweet montage. Maybe all three if you're feeling really saucy. If you could do that, I would really appreciate it.